I'm about to sing Me Me at the Bayerische Staatsoper, and I'm so excited. This is a role that I haven't sung for about seven years, and uh, I'm really looking forward to taking another whack at it. The thing is, this role is so beautiful and so lyrical and so poetic and so romantic, but she sings a lot of bright vowels above the staff, which I'm finding is a big challenge. And in taking on this challenge, I've noticed that the issue is, for me personally, I think probably for a lot of sopranos, I want to approach the top from an omnivowel position, make everything toward an ah or maybe an uh, but the truth is the difference is a lazy tongue. You can drop the jaw to accommodate the necessary extra space because the relationship should be one to six, one, the laryngopharynx is one to six in the oropharynx. So when it's a higher note, this is bigger, so this must also be bigger. I understand that, That's I feel that, and so I go ah, but what you wanna do is not let the tongue fall back or not let the tongue just stay in the middle, which that will change the vowel. You want the tongue arch to be really high. So what feels though, what's strange is you might get the sensation singing this way that the bright vowels will fall out of the line. They will be excessively resonant in the face of like being compared with ooh and ooh, oh and dark, darker vowels, okay? So the thing is, it's not true. You have to just fight that tendency and go ahead and let the tongue arch go very high. So for example, <clears throat> sounds and I'm really working on this but I want to challenge all of you that up high even though you have to open the mouth a little bit more that you don't let your tongue become lazy and flat or withdraw because the root of the tongue will work if the tip isn't forward and the arch isn't high and that will discolor the sound and that will affect the way that you're able to approach the high in the long run thank you so much for your time I hope you enjoy singing high on a bright vowel